Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Uh, we're gonna try something a little different today and we're going to um, do some algebra using some manipulatives. So I have some algebra tiles here. Um, I have this one and then I have this one and I have this one. And if you've worked with algebra tiles before, then um, maybe you're familiar with the values of these. Um, if you haven't, then let's talk about their values. So we're, um, these are often used as um, teaching um, base 10. So we would give this a value of one, this a value of 10, and this a value of 100. So if we go with that same idea, um, still treating this as a value of one, but let's call this length here x, and then this would be x times x, which is x squared then we can use these to do some uh, higher level algebra. So this again is gonna be x squared, this will be x, and this will be a value of one. So keeping that in mind now, we're going to uh, use these to do some um, distribution problems. So let's look at the first one I have here. Expand the expression using algebra tiles. So we have x plus two times x plus four. So we wanna set this problem up here uh, on what looks like a multiplication chart. So I want one factor, x plus two, across the top, and then I want the other factor, x plus four, down the side. So I'm going to do that with my algebra tiles. x plus two, here. So I have an x and then I have po two positive twos there, a positive one, sorry. So x plus two. And then down the side, I'll do the same x and then plus four. So I need four ones. And they're all positive right now. We're not even dealing with negatives yet. So here we have it. Okay, so this is like the length. Oh, pardon me. This is like the length and the width for a rectangle. So that's how we want to treat this problem. x plus 2 times x plus 4, so that's length times width, and we want to fill in the area with the algebra tile. So if we think of this as a multiplication chart, x times x will give us x squared. So we'll put an x squared in there. Okay, um, let's work across the row. Now we have 1 times x, so 1 times x is going to give us 1x. So I'll fold it in this way. And then again, one times x here gives us one x. Okay, so our rectangle is being filled in this way. Now let's go to the next row here. I have one times x, one times x in this space. So I put in a one x. Okay, then we have one times one here, which is one, and then again, one times one, which is another one. Okay, so we've done another row. Let's do another one now again. So in the same way, we'll have one times x, which is one x. Okay, and then we have one times one, one times one. Or we can look at this as one times two, which is gonna give us the two. Either way uh, works, but once you get really good at this, you can speed things up a little bit. Okay, so again, the next row will be the same. One times x, and then one times one, and one times one again. So we'll fill these in like this, and then our last row, exactly the same. Oops, here. And here. Okay, so now our rectangle is complete. Remember we had x plus two times x plus four, and the area in the middle is going to be our answer for the expansion of those two binomials. So what do we have here? An x squared, x, 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 x. How many x's is that? One, two, three, four, five, six x's. So we have x squared, plus six x, and then how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So x squared plus six x plus eight. 
And that's our answer for the expansion of these two binomials. So I'm going to write that in. x squared plus 6x plus 8. Okay, so there we have uh, an elementary um, manipulative helping us with some higher level math so we can really visualize what's happening and the concept of the area model with these. So now let's do an example with some negatives. So I will clear off my um, board here and we'll do it again uh, with some negatives. So look at the second problem here, 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. So now we want to do this again, but we want to mind that minus one. So all of our algebra tiles have red on the opposite side. So when it's flipped to the red side, we're going to treat that as a negative. Okay, so let's do the same thing that we did before. Length times width on our area model and fill it in to our um, multiplication chart here. So across the top, I'm going to put 2x minus one. So here's an x. And here's another x. So there's my positive 2x, and here's my negative 1. So 2x minus 1. And then down the side, we're going to do x plus 3. x, and then positive 3 this way. Okay, so now again, the length is 2x minus 1 and our width is x plus 3. So now we're going to multiply all of the lengths together to fill in the areas inside of the multiplication chart. So we'll do this again. x times x gives us x squared. So we place that in there. And then x times x gives us x squared again. So we fill that in. Okay, last, x times negative 1. So here we're doing a positive x times a negative 1. A positive x times a negative 1 gives us a negative x. So now we're using the red side. Okay, let's do the next row. We have a positive 1 times a positive x. So that gives us positive x. Positive 1 times a positive x. That gives us a positive x. And then a positive 1 times a negative 1, which gives us a negative 1. So again, we're using the red side. And then the last two rows are going to be exactly the same. So we have 1 times x, 1 times x, 1 times negative 1. Okay, so we're going to fill in x, x, and then negative 1. And then the last row in the exact same way. 1 times x is x. And again, 1 times x is x. And finally, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And now this is our completed diagram. So you see how the area is always a complete rectangle. And what do we have in the middle here? An x squared, another x squared, a negative x, 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 and then 3 negative 1s. So if we put that all together, we have two x squareds, and we have a negative x, but then we have six positive x's. So a negative x and a positive x cancel each other out because they're opposites. A negative and a positive make zero. So really what we have is five positive x's, and then three negatives. So our answer here, we had let me try a different one there. We had 2x squared and then uh, 6 positive x's but 1 negative x, so that is 5 positive x's and 3 negative 1's, so minus 3. And there is the expansion of those two um, binomials multiplied together. Thanks for watching, Mrs. A loves math.